guys, Mr. Extra here. Look at those binders. We got One Piece, we got Full Metal Alchemist, we got some craziness. Yeah, that Nami's looking good. All right, guys, you should check out Dueling Guard, capital T, capital X, Team Extra. One word at checkout. No spaces. That's the promo code. Go check it out. Get some Dueling Guard. Get some money back. Let's run it. All right, guys, this is Hypnotic Phantom from Team Extra, Alex Richardson, coming at you with a 27th place indie regional deck profile. I was playing Branded. Uh, we're just going to get right into it. Bread and butter of the deck. Triple Albaz. Triple Poster Boy, let's go. Well, definitely is a Poster Boy. Mm -hmm. Dragon Twink number one. Dragon Twink one, two, three, let's go. So. In a format like this, especially when everybody's still in cash, you have to play three. Mm -hmm. Even even without Diablosis, mm -hmm. getting hit with, uh, say, Birth, Banished from Grave, or even just getting hit with Mill 3 off Lil Rise. If you're on two and you, get, you lose one of yours, you're pretty much dead. Don't play two. Two's ass. It really is. Play the one Shrouded. Only need one. Dump whatever you need. Dump uh, opening. Dump retribution for recursion. For Despia package, we're on three Alibur. Speaks for itself. Everybody forgets about the graveyard effect. Bring it back. Walking imperm. So good. Free for free though. Tra one tragedy, one quim. Don't need more than this, in my opinion. Why the one quim? Uh, it's tree as a dogmatica and a despia. Yeah. So nine times out of ten, I'll uh, drop Titanic clad into the grave. Mm -hmm. And it would just bring itself out in end phase, dump it out bad, and I'm set up for a future on my bonus turn. Fair enough, makes sense. Lastly, we got one Dramaturge. Why the Dramaturge? Uh, I use this quite a bit to uh, chain block my Chimera on my opponent's turn mm -hmm. if I didn't have Lost. Mm -hmm. So I would go Brain and Red, target, mm -hmm. bring it back, banish it. Chain one Chimera, chain two Dramaturge. It's a big body, extra negate, and they can't ask your Chimera. Chain block let's go. Lot, in my opinion, it's a lot better than ad lib. Mm -hmm. Ad lib just takes too long. Fair enough. Two Cartesia, fairly standard. Uh, everybody underestimates the fusing on your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. It, especially if you get uh, debarred, this can save you by itself. It'll let you squeeze one out. You'll, get, you'll squeeze something out. Well, at, at the very least, you get dusk, mm -hmm. which is follow up for your next turn. Yeah. One kit, one more carrier. Uh, with runic and everything, right? I didn't run into runic at all, mm -hmm. but. Kit came in crazy for uh, the one cash matchup I saw, and they they used the uh, cash territorialments. They hit two of my uh, brand infusions, brought them back. Kept playing. Mercurix just good. Beast Shields were only playing the one Lubellion. All you need is to use it, get, lo get lost out. Yep. And all my uh, other Beast Shields were in the side. I found that really, if I open it, it happens. But it's the one of and traps, we run two nib, two ash. Your maining nib, your best. Cross out, cross out nib makes sense. Cross out nib, but nib, nib's still around in the format. So, and one of the biggest things we lose to is getting nibbed before we go to our end phase. Yeah, you can still drop play on blah, 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 but you, lo you lose your mirror jade. Yeah, they lose their nib too, but whatever. You have a big token, but anything can out the token. 
Yeah. I guess I gotta do it, right? Gang Neb hurts. Gang Ash hurts. We play them for cross out targets, and they do work when they come up. Oh, yeah. Uh, lastly, for monsters, the one Dark Magician. Had to run the Arcana art, it just fits the theme the best. Big Pimpin. On to spells. Other core card of the deck, three Branded Fusion. If I need to explain this, don't play Branded. <laughs> One lost. lost. Best card in the damn deck. Very annoying card. Very annoying. Absolutely free. You only need one if, if they hit it with Cyclone or whatever. Can't bring it back. Mm -hmm. Three opening. Free protection. You can dump it off out beyond Shrouded. Yeah. You, if you're uh, expecting a Droll or something, everybody plays Droll one main deck nowadays, or at least I saw a few uh, open. You, if you think that you have a Droll, you can opening add instead of special, bait out the Droll, and then just talents. Drolling Brandon does damn near nothing. It really does nothing. But it just, it's so free for the talents to Yeah, it's just, I just side drill one and one. I was actually on two brand in red. Pretty spicy. Most people run one. Mm -hmm. I, I feel two is more correct. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you side one out. Mm -hmm. But in game states that are really grindy, you tend to lose a lot of your uh, momentum late game. Yeah. And this just keeps you in the fight. Very good follow-up. One brand high spirits, it's an extra starter. Gets you uh, Cartesia, gets you whatever. Helps it, you dig. Yeah, dig, set up the grave. Really good one of. Only on two deployment. And most people run three, but I feel like two is less set breaky. Mm -hmm. I mean, I never want to open more than one of these, yeah. ever. And yeah, it's slightly less uh, consistent for Cartesia, but when you can grab it off high spirits or lost or anything like that, it doesn't really hurt. Two talents, just, I get, Ash goes through, I just rip, I rip the starter. Mm -hmm. uh, I only went for the draw two like one time. Yeah, it's very rare that you do that. Yeah, most of the times we're just going to rip an extra uh, starter or hand trap or something like that. Mm -hmm. Three cross out. If you're playing cross out package, you have to run three. You just need to see it. It, this and the call by. I had Ash resolve on me three times throughout the tournament. Still, still. I mean, it's four cards in a 43 card deck. Yeah, fair enough. And crossouts would push to 43. Yeah. Uh, Foolish and Gold Sark. Mm -hmm. If Tragedy's still in the deck, it turn these are both free starters. Mm -hmm. You can also do Mercurial to uh, add the Cartesia as well. Yeah. Another reason why two fusion employments correct, at least in this build. Makes sense, though. Lastly, for traps, we got one Retribution and two Imperm. Imperm's more for the uh, cross out targets because I hate getting Impermed on Alibur. It just hurts. Especially if it's, especially if you open like no real other way into brand fusion, you don't see it. When in doubt, pull back. Going to extra deck. Two mirror jade cash is still a thing. Mirror jade outs a lot of stuff. So. Mirror jade outs literally about everything. Mirror jade is the deck. Uh, I had one guy try to hold me uh, in a judge call with an appeal. Trying to say that this didn't out uh, Chaos Angel on end phase. It's a lingering effect, not an activated effect. It does. Yeah, he wrong, he wrong. Chaos Angel and Psychic and Punisher, Mirror Jade at end phase just mercs him. 
uh, two Albion. Mm -hmm. This is the usually a first fusion you go into. Albion's pretty nice. Banish the uh, Albaz and Gray. Banish the Alibron Field. Mm -hmm. Dump a card. Shuffle it back. Lubellion. Uh, when you make that, uh, shovel back to Lubellion into Albaz. Yeah, you're usually only making Lubellion once because you can shovel back to it again. Uh, you don't need to. Uh, if, if you ash uh, Cash mm -hmm. and they and they don't rip the Lubellion, uh, you can just keep playing. I feel like they just don't do that. They don't. They look at it and go, wow. No. There, uh, there's two targets that I usually go for. One is the Sanctifier. Mm -hmm. I don't play Gimmick Puppet. I never needed it. Mm -hmm. But when I went up against any deck that banishes, I would just loop Lancia every draw phase. Dramatic. Uh, Titanic Cloud mm -hmm. drops uh, Quamet and Phase. Usually I'd send this off of uh, Dusk. Yeah. It's like fucking talking about the make burgers. I'm going with him. comes in clutch. I actually see a lot of builds not playing this. I don't know why. Rimbrum is a free out to rise heart. Rimbrum also helps it, you get free chicken uh, tendies off your mirror jade too. Yeah. Uh, I also I also made this as quick as possible versus uh, Banker Soul because mm -hmm. they because they want that rock out. They absolutely need the it. Rock. Negate bounce the rock. Oh, Fair enough. That's the one thing they can't tag out. Yeah. They have to keep playing resources into they it. Yeah, keep then, remaking the rock, yeah. basically. Last, last uh, Albas fusion I'm playing is Albalinus. For dragon reasons. Dragon reasons that I, all you gotta do against dragons is hold the Lubellion hostage. Mm -hmm. They can't put Beast out, and then they're just sad. They're just big sad. Set Albaz, nuke their board. And uh, against Runic, mm -hmm. I didn't. It, I never had the Runic matchup, but against Runic, you just shuffle all your dragons back. Say GG. Fair enough. You just outgrind. Uh, play the one Dusk. Dusky, Dusky for dumping. Uh, dumps any of your fusions that you want. If uh, one thing I forgot to say about Albalanidus, mm -hmm. it. Not only does it search brand fusion, it searches the fusion deployment. Oh yeah, it does. Doesn't so, it? Because it has the word fusion. In normal it. fusion spell. That's disgusting. So, I think about that, that. So without Belenus, you don't need three uh, deployment, because I can just dump this off dusk, get the deployment for uh, next turn. Yeah. Run one Quartus, one Tax Dragon. Yes. <laughs> Love me. Uh, the guy that held me for. Uh, the appeal on the uh, Chaos Angel. Mm -hmm. Well, he lost that appeal. Scooped up. Uh, we got an 8-meg extension. Uh, I, know you, I know you're talking about. <laughs> he, he let me go first. I ended up making this on his draw face with a minute left. Scooped up. Uh, one Chimera, one Dragoon. Obvious by the uh, Dark Magician in the main. Dragoon? A lot of people aren't playing Dragoon anymore, I've seen. Mm -hmm. This card is absolutely insane, and it's what you make under ship. It's still a negate, so... It's an omni-negate. You still have something that's formidable. It's basically a Towers. Mm -hmm. And 4K, big boy, cannot be destroyed by card effects, cannot be targeted. It's dangerous. And because you always make it with Dark Magician, you always have the pop for in time. Yes. And lastly, we got the Lulu. Lulu. Yeah, most of the time, a lot of times I went into Quartus instead, mm -hmm. mainly because I, when you just drop Quartus, most decks that nowadays aren't playing Joey. fusions, mm -hmm. so you can just sack the whole field to zero before the battle when it declare battle at the end of main. So this didn't come up too much, but when it did, it won me the game. Fair enough. As for the side deck, I'm going to keep that more to myself. Uh, That's fair. With Nats coming up, I don't... He doesn't want to expose the sauce. Uh, well, I will say that I do play all the extra bestials in the side. In case for, like, D-Link, uh, the mirrors, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm also editing the side, so... 
for nationals, and I don't really want to uh, put out that information before the event. I wouldn't either. But that's the deck profile, guys. Uh, Team Hypnotics uh, going to have their own channel soon, from what I hear. Uh, watch out for that. And see you guys at Nets. There you go.